Hi everyone. In this uh, session I want to uh, look at how we find the equation of a line and then also understand the different forms of a line. So the first thing we need to know is that to find the equation of a line you always need two things. You need a point on the line and you need the slope of the line. And if you don't have those then you need to get those and if you can't get those then you're not going to be able to find the equation of the line. So you always need a point on the line and the slope of the line. Alright, so let's find the equation of the line that goes through the point negative 2, 4 and has a slope of a half. That would be a rise of 1, run of 2, rise of 1, run of 2. Uh, so it's going to look something like this. Rise of negative 1, run of negative 2. So my graph's going to look something like this. Get the right color here. Look like that. Okay. So you can tell just looking at this because of uh, where my original point was right here. This is the point that I have, negative 2, 4, and I want a rise of 1 and a run of 2. And so I, I can see that that has a y-intercept of 5. And so I can right away say, well, if I know the slope and I know the y-intercept, I know that the equation of this line is going to be, you know, just y equals mx plus b, or y equals 1 half x plus 5. Okay? So that's what I know my answer to be just from, from uh, figuring it out from the graph. Of course, uh, if this uh, had crossed at a... Uh, any point that wasn't a nice integer, uh, you know, uh, you wouldn't be able to eyeball it and just say, oh, I know what that y-intercept is. And so we need an algebraic way to get that uh, equation more exact. So here's how you do that. Uh, and that's what this session is, is primarily about. Okay? So if you choose any other point on this uh, line, uh, I call it a generic point x, y, and I have this specific point negative 2, 4. Well, if I compute the slope between those those two points, it's just the, the difference of the y's, right? y minus 4 over the difference of the x's, x minus a negative 2, and I know that that slope has to equal a half, because that's what I was told. Okay, so so that slope is has to equal a half, and and so if I just compute the slope between the the generic point x y and the specific point that I'm given negative two four, and I know that's a half, well I've just written the equation of the line. That's it. I I like to call that Clark's form of the line because that explains where some of these formulas come from. It's really just the just the uh, slope formula, okay? Well, if I were to go ahead and multiply both sides, and this right here, this, this would be one form of the line, okay? If I were to multiply both sides of this equation by this denominator, x minus a negative 2, I would get y minus 4 equals 1 half times x minus the negative 2, okay? So uh, this right here is what we call the, the point slope form of a line. Um, and that's what I'd put in right here. y minus 4 is just 1 half of x minus a negative 2. And you'll notice that that's exactly of this form, right? y minus y1 equals your slope times x minus x1. So if a, a line is written in this form, you can automatically say the slope is this number a half, and you can automatically say your point is, you know, negative 2, 4. That's the one it's going through. All right? So that's another form of the line. Um, and so generally, the way that we would have you find the equation of a line is you need those two things, a point and a slope, and so uh, you just remember this point-slope form of the line, which is really just the, the uh, slope formula between a, a generic point x, y, and a specific point x1, y1, and you just plug in your x1, y1 here, 
and your slope right there and and that will give you the the equation of a line okay now if I go ahead and, and simplify this um, I would get y minus 4 is 1 half of x plus 2 now I'll finally combine the two minuses there so y minus 4 is 1 half x plus 1 and then if I bring the 4 over on the other side I get another form of the line uh, this we call this the slope intercept form okay so just like up here this is the point slope form if it's written in this form you can you can tell a point on the line and the slope if it's written in this form you can see what the slope and the y intercept is okay so we call that the slope intercept form but notice that that's just another way of writing that same line right whether it's in this form or the point slope form or the slope intercept form it's all describing the same infinite uh, set of ordered pairs all right now if I if I go ahead and get rid of any fractions like if I were to multiply both sides of, of this equation by 2 then I would get 2y is equal to x plus 10 if I multiply both sides by that and if I took the x on this side I'd get a negative x plus 2y equals 10 or if you wanted to multiply by negative you could write it as x minus 2y equals a negative 10 either one of those is what we call the standard or the general form of the line and the hallmark of that form is that there's no fractions and you have both the x and y on the same side of the equation okay so all of these are describing the same infinite set of ordered pairs that when you plot them they they lie on on a line okay so to summarize this if you want to find the equation of a line you need those two things you need you need a point on the line and you need the slope of the line and then you simply plug those into the point slope form of the line that you want to remember is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and again if you just divide both sides by x minus x1 you see that's really just the slope formula so if I wanted to find the equation line that had this point and and that y uh, slope then here's my x1 I'll just go ahead and plug that in right there and here's my y1 I would just plug that in right there and here's my slope that's just gonna get put right here and so I would get y minus a negative 1 is my slope 1 third times x uh, minus 3 okay so that's one way we usually in algebra will simplify this to the slope intercept form so I'll go ahead and simplify y plus 1 is 1 third x minus 1 distributing the 1 third through so take the 1 over y equals 1 third x uh, minus 2 and so this would be the equation of the line in in uh, slope intercept form Okay.